How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. In this episode I want to make a knife out of old concrete blade. I know it should be good steel, but what kind of steel it is, I don't know. It's mystery. So before we do an actual knife, I want to figure out which way of quenching is good for this steel. So we got our saw blade. We're gonna cut three six inch strips, probably one inch wide each. We're gonna heat it in forge till it's not magnetic and we're gonna quench one in water, the other one in oil and the third one which is gonna let quench on air. Okay, let's get started. Alright, I'm done with cutting. I also cleaned the edges with files so they're not sharp. Okay, let's fire up our forge. Alright guys, so we quenched all three of our pieces, first one's oil, second one water and last one in air. So let's go ahead and snap them in half. No, it's like very hard rubber now. Okay. Got it. Now we do water. Water was pretty cool. And oil. Whew. That was definitely hard to break. Okay. Now we're gonna compare all three. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but the one from oil has the smallest grain. Then water, then air. So I guess you can do it in water, but for this knife I think I'm gonna go with oil quench. Okay, let's cut our template. Okay guys, so I drew a simple design for this knife. We're gonna cut this out and anneal it in our forge so it's easier to grind it and uh, drill holes so let's go ahead and do that uh oh got a little hole here man those sparks are freaking hot All right, let's spark up our forge. Yeah, and now we're gonna basically wait for our piece of metal to cool down in forge, nice and slow. And that should anneal it. All right, our forge nice and cold now. Let's take out our piece. I want to drill a little hole here and see if it worked. So it did work. Cool. Let's glue our design on this piece.
guys. Our blank is ready for grinding and for drilling holes. It's nice and clean everywhere. So first I'm gonna drill holes. I'm gonna go brass pin here, brass pin there, carbon fiber pin in the center. And also we're gonna drill two large holes here and here to lighten handle a little bit. made this file guide out of uh, two railroad spikes. Not the greatest material, but pretty cheap and it does the trick. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description. Go ahead and check that video out. My little 1x30 grinder can't really make it closer on the other side. So I'm gonna finish this bevel with a file. Already! There is some imperfections of course, but I think not too bad for my second freehand knife. We can fix that later with sandpaper. Cool, let's quench this bad boy. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's find out if it hardened. I really hope so. <laughs> it did. Yep, file sliding on it. Barely making any marks. Okay, so the next step is to temper this metal because right now it's really fragile and we can break it. That's the color we're looking for, straw color. So that means it is tempered now. I kind of like this texture here. You can see the lines of the saw spinning. Maybe I should leave them. Okay, let's get on sanding. Yeah, on my next build, I definitely gonna sand before I quench. Sanding hardened steel sucks. I spent nearly one hour just sanding 80 grit. And that's only first side. So there's a couple more hours of sanding actually. If you wanna make a knife, make sure you have a whole bag of patience, my friend. Let's keep sanding. Both sides to the 600 grit. 
we're gonna etch this blade in ferric chloride. So I ended up etching it five times. And look at that. First time I etched something in ferric chloride. I really like it. And that saw blade texture just highlights everything. Cool, now we can tape it and start working on the handle. All right, we're ready for glue up. Let's uh, degrease everything with rubbing alcohol. Look at that grain, isn't it crazy? I like it. There goes a couple hours of sanding again. Check this out. The shape is just beautiful. Sits so well in the hand. Okay, let's sharpen our blade and apply Danish oil on the handle. Okay, let's see how well it cuts paper. I think it's sharp. What do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. All right, you guys ready? Let's put oil on this puppy, shall we? I'm quite speechless right now. This is unbelievable. Well guys, we got to the conclusion of this video. This was a very educational project for myself. I hope you learned some too. If you guys like this video, please smash that like button and consider subscription to my channel. There's gonna be a lot of interesting content in the next year. I wish you all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you and your families. Stay healthy and wealthy. That's it for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye now! You still here? Why?
video is done. I mean, if you're still watching this, I might as well cut some paper for you. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go sweep the floor and you have a nice day.